Today on the show, we have a brand new background update in GTA Online to discuss that just went live. Several bug fixes were introduced with this update, some of which should solve your most painful problems that you've been experiencing since the Criminal Enterprises update went live on Tuesday. It didn't solve all of them, but it's a good start. Along with that, we have more news and information in regards to content coming to the game outside of the normal drip feed vehicles, the M16 service carbine we're waiting on, and more from the Criminal Enterprises DLC. And this also has to do with player created game modes, plus we also have a new outfit that you all may find pretty cool, so let's get stuck into it. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. The details of what the background update fixed in GTA Online are of course coming from Tezfun2, so credit to him for this information. In Rockstar's newest server-side patch for GTA Online, Rockstar fixed 8 in-game issues. For one, they fixed a bug preventing you from buying the festival bus from the website. Rockstar also fixed a cutscene bug during the Cayo Perico heist finale. Rockstar fixed a wall breach glitch, we're not sure which one. They also fixed a bug with snack and armor options when you're accessing the weapon wheel. They also added fixes to the pier race and splits stunt races. Rockstar patched a facility duplication glitch, and they fixed rubber band AFK during jobs, which is basically what they're gonna do now is if you try and AFK money in the game, you're gonna get kicked from whatever adversary mode or race you're in. And Rockstar also fixed an issue where the facility exterior and the hatch is open and it's bugged out. Now, Tez also had a note attached to his statement if you're confused here. He said, clarification, the bug with Kyle Perico Heist Finale has to do with the freezing guards. That was fixed with today's background update. And I know a lot of players were experiencing that problem in game. That was something I saw a lot in my comments, actually. I know Tylerius made a good video kind of describing that issue because a lot of players were experiencing that. That was messing with players' speedrunning strategies. You know, it wasn't like a huge, huge hindrance, but it was just something that you kind of were like taken aback by, but at least now that's taken care of. Rockstar has since fixed it. I'm not sure about you guys, but I definitely did experience some snack and armor option bugs from the weapon wheel. Sometimes I would spam the button and it wouldn't count the snacks all the time on every single button press. It would like skip over one, or maybe I'd press it two times in between before it registered, things like that. Same thing with the armor. Obviously I had enough armor because I was able to apply more after, but I would press it once, armor would be applied, or I would eat a snack and consume it and get the health back and then maybe one or two button presses would go by before the next one would trigger it's like the game wouldn't be able to keep up with a player button input so i'm hoping that that's fixed i hopped on just to record some gameplay for this video and it doesn't appear that i had that trouble so that's good to know but just talking about some other things here some of you may have already heard but i'll mention it briefly in this video gta series videos has released a screenshot about a sasquatch outfit that players will be able to unlock in gta online and they say the following Players will most likely be able to unlock a special Sasquatch outfit in a future GTA Online event, and thank you to Detective Pogo for the photo. And I must say, this outfit looks absolutely amazing, because you're just a Sasquatch. I mean, it's hilarious. Imagine having a full lobby of Sasquatches and Bigfoots running around. Overall, it just seems like it's pretty unrelated to the DLC update in general. The fact that we have a Criminal Enterprises update with expansions to businesses and all this other stuff, right? These IAA missions. What does Bigfoot and a Sasquatch have to do with it? Almost nothing, but what I do think it is, and what I think it's related to, is the Halloween event in GTA Online that we will experience this year in 2022. And we're gonna have more on that later because we have a bit of information coming for that. I think the Sasquatch outfit is going to be included with that weekly update whenever we have the Halloween event week here in game. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled for that video because I'll be releasing that soon. Testfund 2 also data mined some more new details and community jobs in GTA Online. In his post, he showed off three key strings of text in the game's code that reveals this news, and it's the following. Test your skills to limit in a series of white knuckle races and adversary modes, created entirely by the Grand Theft Auto Online community, it's anyone's game here. Community series, and enter to join the community series, or go on call to remain in free mode until the mode is about to start. Now, he did follow up with this by attaching a link to an older tweet of his, in which he initially reported on the possibility of job spotlights coming to the GTA Online Newswire during weekly update events and more, and Tez stated, This lines up with what was found a while ago. Rockstar will feature community jobs soon. 
the better and then mark two versions of Rockstar Verified Jobs. There are new deathmatch animations for RPGs and snipers found by Rolska2282, likely for the RPGs vs snipers jobs. And also, if we look at the original report, it reads the following. A few days ago, Rockstar updated their website to add a new social club module called UGC Spotlight, aka Job Spotlight. This module would allow them to showcase jobs within Newswire articles, easing you of visiting the social club website, so expect more Job Spotlight articles soon. Now, that's about all the information we have for today's video. Just some bug fixes. Obviously, there's a lot more that we need to see here in game. I'm excited for the outfit and, of course, these community job spotlights and player created modes and things like that. Still waiting on what we're going to get for like the races or other adversary modes on Kyle Perico. If you guys think back to before this DLC release, just about a week ago or two weeks ago when we got this information, we did have leaks and insider information that we were going to be able to experience like game modes on the island of Kyle Perico or out of map experiences, right? And then the Criminal Enterprises DLC update like reveal and teaser trailer released and we saw the new DLC vehicles racing on the island of Cayo Perico so that would be really cool if we can get that soon in game I'm not sure if that's coming like during the Halloween event or whatever else I, I guess maybe it could drop with the M16 update and whatever weekly event that drops with but let me know what you think about the bug fixes here in game were you guys plagued by them I'm not sure any of these others were really that big of a deal for players like who's really buying the festival bus right now of course they had to fix it because it prevent that bug prevented players from buying it, which means they're missing out on content. But I'm not sure that's really something anyone's stressing over. I think Kyle Perico is the big one. And then, of course, the bug with snacks and armor when you try and access them during the weapon wheel. It's a good thing that's fixed. And then also the fixes to the splits and the peer race stunt races. That's good to see get taken care of here in GTA Online. But with all that said, though, that's all we have time for today. And so I think this is a good place to wrap up. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with all the best GTA Online, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV and all of my social media links, including my Discord, can be found in the description down below. We have over 12,000 active members on there, so if you're looking for players to play GTA Online with, run Kyle Perico with them so you don't have to play solo and experience the four-day cooldown that Kyle Perico has, which is absolutely crazy, definitely join the Discord and Matchmake. We got players on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC on there. With all that said, though, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys all have a fantastic rest of your Saturday. Now we'll see you guys in the next GTA Online video. Adios, amigos.